Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're returning, welcome back and thank you for your support. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing our expense check-in and this is for the week of May 14th through the 20th. So this is our third check-in for the month of May. So if you're interested to see how I did on my spending this week, stick around and let's get right into the video. First, I have my budget planner here and we are going to open up to our May calendar spread and we are looking at lurking <laughs> we're looking at this 14th through the 20th so first things first of course we have to lay down our stickers so I have my little cheat sheet here and let's get to work so our very first expense we did spend on Saturday. We, well, I got McDonald's for breakfast. So that was 11.32. The, yeah, the stickers are yellow this week, you guys. I know, very different than the previous few weeks. Um, next up on the 14th, Zach and I went to the movies and we spent, it was a lot of money, you guys. <laughs> we saw the Doctor Strange movie, but we got a lot of food there too, like a lot of food and snacks. So it was $60 altogether for tickets and snacks. I know, right? Like that's crazy. Um, then on the 14th, we ended up getting Red Robin as well. So you can already see that this week did not start out that great. As far as spending goes, we already were off to like a really spendy Saturday. Um, I think that's actually it for the 14th. Then on the 15th, we picked up groceries at Aldi and I did this with cash. So I'm not going to have to take out this Aldi cash. So I'm actually going to just cross this off right now so that I know I don't have to pull that out of our uh, sinking funds. Um, then we couldn't, um, not all of our grocery shopping was done, so we had to go to Walmart, and I spent $16 on my card at Walmart for the rest of our grocery needs. So lay that down. It was also on the 15th. And then Zach spent, um, while we were at Walmart, he spent $2 from his own sinking fund. For what? I don't remember, but I have written down that Zach spent $2, <laughs> so... There's where that comes from. Um, oh, you can see the rest of my expenses here. You can see there's not that many left. Um, then on the 16th, we did another, Zach needed some food for, why am I yelling? I feel like I'm yelling. Zach did some spending at Walmart, again, for groceries for his lunches for work. I thought we had everything, but I guess we did not. So he spent $31 on stuff we forgot to get for him. Oh, there goes my little tweezers. That's okay. That's actually it for the 16th. On the 17th, we got Firehouse subs for dinner. And they were actually having a deal that day where if your name starts with like an X, Y, or Z, um, you got a free medium sandwich. So Zach's name obviously starts with a Z. So he got a free sandwich and mine was only $11. So that is what we spent on the 17th. The 18th was actually a no spend day. Look at that. The second no spend day of the month. Can you believe that? We're like over halfway through the month and I, this is only my second no spend day. Gosh, May has been just awful for spending. And then we did spend on the 19th. We ate out. Oh, I ate out yesterday. Yeah, yesterday the 19th. So we had a, my job had a bunch of us get together for dinner. This was an unplanned expense, so I'm not sure where I'm going to take this from, especially because we don't have very much in miscellaneous. So we'll see what happens there. And then today, the 20th, I got scooters for breakfast. Listen, I wasn't planning on it, but it was double points day, you guys. How can I, how can I not get double points? Okay, I'm a sucker for the rewards programs. Was it in the budget? No. Did I get rewards points? Yes. <laughs> And then the last thing we have is gas, and I actually don't have this right now, and um, I'm going to look really quick to see how much that was. Okay, so it was actually, I just looked on our banking app to see how much Zach spent. He just got gas today for $59. So, he is all filled up on gas. 
I didn't have that filled out because literally Zach just left for work and I, le I film after he leaves for work and he's like, oh, by the way, I'm getting gas. I was like, okay, great. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> so I just had to look and see how much he spent because <laughs> he swiped his card at the pump. Okay, so that is all of our expenses laid out. So now we need to get my cash tray. We need to zoom you guys out and we need to pull some money out to reimburse my checking account. All right, I feel like we don't have very much space to work here. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and start in my wallet. Um, let's pull, actually, let's start with subscriptions here because I definitely know we overspent and I'm not sure where I'm gonna take the money from. It's like from, when was that, like two weeks ago? I just like crazy overspent. That's what happened this week. Okay, so Disney and Spotify is a total of 20 bucks, it looks like, right? 11 plus nine is 20. So I'm gonna go to my subscriptions and we need to take out $20. So I'm just gonna pull that guy. And that was on the 19th. So we're gonna go with Disney and was it Spotify? Yeah. And spot minus 20. So we should have $24. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, and 3. And we have 20. Oh no, we had 43 here. So that would mean 23. It doesn't help when I get my own numbers wrong. And also this ink is really wet. So it's like it's gonna smear. That's okay. It is what it is. Okay, put that back in there. So there are our subscriptions taken care of for the week. Oh no, Prime. Prime also pulled. Okay, let me pull Prime. So that was for 15. So there's a 10 and a five. My goodness, that was on 514. Minus 15. So 23 minus 15 should be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Eight dollars left. Yeah, we're pretty low on subscriptions, but that's because I think a couple weeks ago I had to take out for my Costco membership and I I had just completely forgotten that that was a thing. All right, let's go ahead and get into this gas expense here because I know we have enough for that. So gas, we spent 59 bucks this week. I did not need to fill up, just Zach did. And I think we had 60 here. So 20, 40, 55, 6, 57, 58, 59. Yep. So we have a dollar left over. Woohoo! Look at us go. Okay. So 20, 10s, 5s, and 1s here. All right. There's gas. Okay. Let's look at our eating out. So, oh gosh, where's my calculator? Here we are. So we had McDonald's for 11.32. We had Red Robin. We had Firehouse and Scooters. So $76. And I actually don't know how much we have in eating out for this week. <sighs> it's not looking good probably. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, and five. Okay. Could be worse. So we need $11. I might have 10 of that in my, my spending. So let me close up eating out. Ooh, I've got 10 bucks. $10. And then, oops, minus 10. So $1.32, I will probably just take this last dollar from gas because we were going to have one dollar of rollover, but I don't have a dollar anywhere else. So yeah, all our wallet envelopes are empty. <laughs> so sad. Okay, so scooters. We're just going to take the 32 cents from like our buffer. That's fine with me. And let's see. Firehouse. I forgot this eating out for 28. I forgot that was mine. <gasps> okay, we don't have money for that. And we also don't have money for groceries. So I'm gonna take that out of miscellaneous and then anything left over, I'm gonna have to take out of like some other envelopes. So we have eating out for 28. And then we have Walmart groceries and another Walmart groceries. 
So we need 75 bucks from somewhere. But in the meantime, let's take Zach's $2 out. So that is in this one. Let's take Zach's two bucks out while I think long and hard about where I'm gonna take 75 bucks out from. So Zach had two bucks we need to take out and looky there, we have $2. Oh, and we're gonna start on the back side of this. So that was on the 15th, 515. I don't know, he spent something. I honestly don't know what he bought, but he's just like, hey, can you take two bucks out of my fund? I'm spending money. So 87, so we should have 85 left for him. 20, 40, 60, 80, and five. Sweet, good deal there. All right, let's see how much we have in miscellaneous because we're about to empty this sucker out. Not very much, I don't think. Oh, we have $15, okay. So that means we need $60 from somewhere else. I'm gonna put overspent on groceries. I feel like I should have like a backup grocery fund or something. I genuinely, oh wait, I need to put that over there. I genuinely did not think I would be overspending on groceries, but I guess we have to take into account inflation. All right, so let's think of where I need to, where I can take 60 bucks out. I'd rather not take 60 out of anywhere. And especially I don't want to take out of gifts because we're going to have to spend on gifts here. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to think really quick. Another thing I need to think about too is this movie's expense for 60. We actually only have 25 in our fun fund. So that means we need... Um, so we already owe 60 somewhere else. But we also owe 35 towards for the movies. So we actually need $95. So I'm gonna take out the 35 from fun. And that'll be emptied. There we go. And then we need 95 bucks from somewhere. I think I might take it from one of my, from health maybe? Cause health is crazy right now. Like I don't, I feel bad taking from health when it wasn't for health reason. Hey, groceries, they were healthy groceries. That's how I'm gonna justify this, is it was healthy groceries. <laughs> so I'm gonna take out one of these hundreds or should I take out mm, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60? Yeah, I'm gonna have to use a hundred. So we need 95. Healthy groceries and healthy fun. That's how I'm justifying this. Uh, so this is gonna be groceries and movies. And movies. And so we had 466. So we should have 371. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 6, 7, 8, 9, 71. Okay, well, at least the numbers are correct. I hate to take out of health, but I don't even, I, I have no other funds that I want to take this out of. Okay, and I think that actually, oh, we did take out Verizon. Um, I think that does it, you guys. I think that is all of our spending taken care of. So that was painful. So... Um, let's total up the amount we should have in cash over here. So we have 11. Um, hopefully this is somewhat right. Okay, that's 76. I'm not going to add in because that was cash at Aldi. I don't know why I wrote Aldi's. Isn't it just Aldi? Three hundred and seven. All right, that's what I'm getting. So let's see if we have that amount of cash here. Set this guy to the side. And ooh, $307 is what we should have. Feels like I spent a lot more than that actually. So I have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 230, 40, 50, 60, 270, 280, 85, 90, 95, 300, 305, 310, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 317. So I must have calculated either I took $10 too much out or I just calculated my totals wrong. 
So let me calculate these totals again really quick. Yeah, I calculated it again. It says I should only have 307. So I'm not sure what's going on with the $10. Um, if you happen to see where I took $10 extra out, let me know and I might actually see it in editing. So I'll put a note on the screen if I did see it in editing. But that is all I have. I'm gonna close this guy up because we don't like seeing her. <laughs> we don't like seeing all my spending. <laughs> but I'll be taking 317 back. I guess that $10 is a nice little extra buffer. Unless I counted wrong. 120, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 3, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, okay, I didn't count wrong. <laughs> So yeah, 317, I guess, and maybe I'll find that 10 somewhere else. But yeah, that is all I have. I hope you enjoyed. Leave me your feedback down below. Give me a little tisk tisk for overspending. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.